I've been working on my voltage come current sensor, lost model alarm, beeper, low voltage thing, whatever. And it's getting a bit of a monstrosity at the minute. Um, it's got a bit out of hand. So we've got a 5 volt regulator there which takes the power from the main line to power the Arduino and the LCD or the OLED display. And the beeper doesn't work at the minute. Oh. So if I plug it in, <laughs> now the only problem I've got is. Um, because the ADC is actually affected by the input voltage purely because that regulator doesn't supply a constant 5 volts uh, it can be anything from 4 volts to 5.5 volts I think it is so the A to D actually gets affected and to work out the calculation because I've got a 3S in at the minute if I put a 4S it, it goes way out so anyway what I've decided is I'm going to be using a Pro Mini 3.3 volts whatever or 3 volt I'm going to be powering it directly from the battery and I'm going to calibrate it to the battery so the A to D isn't actually affected that's the only way I can do it unfortunately so we now have there's an Arduino Pro Mini in the middle uh, current sensor and voltage voltage sensor off an APM on the back an LCD on the front or an, an OLED or AMOLED and a beeper if I plug the battery in so now it's it's waiting for an input and when I get a battery, this is a just a normal 3S, I think it's 3S. There you go. Now, obviously when I take the power off it still stays on, it just gives you the last readout, maximum, minimum, like that. Anyway, I did try using a DigiSpark, um, but a DigiSpark hasn't got the memory to run it, otherwise it would have been uh, really good using that. Um, I've tried a few other things. I was thinking about using one of these um, uh, Nokia 5110 LCDs, but that's a bit too big. Well, I've nearly finished it. I've got to put it in a case yet. So, but what it consists of is an Arduino Pro Mini, um, a current sensor from an APM I think it is it's got a beeper on it buzzer whatever you want to call it so if I plug it's battery powered as well runs on 3.7 volts so if I plug the battery in it bleeps if I zoom out move that up there so it says they're waiting for input so when you plug a battery in it says 3S detected and it bleeps three times if you put a 4S in it it bleeps four times so you've got your, 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 your current voltage and current you've got your maximum, minimum and average now the current 
uh, obviously there's nothing plugged into it so that's not right that's just a dummy sort of a load on there that I've put dummy values now if I unplug the battery as you can see the average starts dropping and if I plug the battery back in the average goes up again so it's done but I need to put it in a case now because it's battery powered um, it also does this which I'm going to have to fast forward now so there you go it's also a lost model alarm if I unplug the battery, I've still got to because it, I'm going to have to turn this off because it's battery powered. If the flight battery gets ejected, it's still. If I unplug that, um, I've still got work to do on it. Like the the average, um, if if you unplug the battery, the average drops. So I've got to put a um, a point where it doesn't actually drop if it detects that the battery is de um, ejected so that's that done but I've got to put it in a case or do something with it I don't know I might leave it like that it looks good it looks technical now I've also got um, a teensy well I've got a few teensies actually um, I've got some more of these these uh, ammo lead uh, displays um, I've got the SPI ones which are the 4 pin, I think they're SPI or I squared C, I can't remember which one's which. So I'm going to do a multifunction tool, this is as far as I can go with this because of processing power and memory and everything. Uh, but the multifunction tool is going to have the same functionality uh, but with a lot more on, onto it. And it's also on the back of it, I think it's going to have a, have a button on there, a navigation button, so you can go through screens. And you can set the voltage um, cut off, you can set the voltage calibration and everything. And also, I'm looking at the possibility of um, having it as a, as a scanner, a frequency scanner. So you, you'll be able to see who's on what channel. And it'll all run off this little battery and that's all. Obviously, it'll have the um, it'll have that involved in it, which is the Lost Model Beacon on four three three meg, I think it is. Yeah. So it'll have that as well as the alarm. I'll put an LED on it as well. I don't know. But the only thing is, it's running off that one battery, so I don't know how long that lasts at the minute. But yeah, that bit's done. I think that's as far as I go, like I say, it's as far as I could go with that one uh, because of um, limitations on the Arduino Pro Mini but that costs a total of, I think it was 8 quid so, yeah it works which I'm very pleased with it let me know below if you want me to do an instruction video on how to build that but like I say it isn't very easy at all because there's a lot of wires that have to go in and out and everywhere plus which I need to get that get these connectors and is a nightmare in itself so but you could put fly leads on it don't know don't care job done